Hello, 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 everybody. I'm back again. All right, I'm just bringing it up on my um, Facebook so I can see what I'm doing here. And then we're going to jump right into making some stuff. Have I got anybody watching? Oh, there's a few of you just showing up. Jeez, you guys must have been waiting for me. How are you? So, as part of the Great International Craft Show, look, I actually said it right and got it right for a change. Um, <laughs> I'm doing some live Facebooks every day. Um, and today is Scrap Effects Day and Chipboard Day, which means you are going to get... 15% off of chipboard and scrap, scrap effects products on the Facebook page. Uh, sorry, on my web page. Um, and I've just had another idea, sorry. And um, I'm going to... Oh, hello, everyone. Goodness me. And I'm going to talk you through a couple of different things today uh, on how to use chipboard and the different sorts of chipboard that is available. So first and foremost, let me show you a couple of things here that are included in the chipboard sale, in, included in the specials. So we have got these mini albums. So these are the mini albums by Minte. Um, I hope I'm not getting too much reflection there. But these are fantastic. So these guys here have got seven pages in them and you can add to them and this is the gingerbread house we have got this beautiful rose tag one and this one is like would join at the top for example uh we have got this butterfly this butterfly book as well we also have the christmas baubles which would make a great banner that you would you know you could do a a banner that runs across your fireplace or your like a window at home and then there's also the family book so to give you a bit of an idea these are normally $12.50 but they have been um, they will come through on your checkout at $10.62 so they are fantastic so you'll find those on the website under chipboard and also under Minte. excellent product the other thing that you will also find on the website um, as part of the chipboard special is the Minte chipboard. And that's what I'm going to be using today in our live Facebook. Hello, Linda Pearson. I see you watching there. Right. So this is some of the designs. So these are 12 by 12 chipboards. These are huge. So I'm just showing them on a bit of an angle here because I don't want too much reflection. In fact, I'm just going to turn off my light just for a second. So what this is, this is going to make a fantastic background or you could turn this into a page in your mini album or, uh, sorry, your mini album, your scrapbook album. Um, you punch it out, colour it, paint it, leave it raw. I absolutely love that. This one is, I ordered in because chipboard words are fantastic titles for your projects. So we have got... 18 different pieces here and they pop out to give you sentence starters and phrase starters so they are on special this is probably one of my favorites because you can make a this is like their shutters but they're also like doors so you could add some crackle paste to these some acrylic paint some embossing powder mix it up to make a page that opens up for a piece of uh, like to go into your scrapbook album or you've got you could take make a mini album and this could be the front cover and the back cover very versatile piece of chipboard okay very very versatile piece of chipboard uh, we've got the decor tags excellent for tags Christmas decorations so we've got lots of different ornaments here this is just called the Christmas mix and these are all these are all, um, you know, they just pop right out. Then for those of you who love a bit of the autumn decor, um, although we're out of autumn, this is the big pumpkin. This could also be a um, Halloween page. That would look amazing with the new Tim Holtz uh, texture paste that he just released. And 
and this is gorgeous so this is a christmas wreath that would make a great embellishment on your page and then the christmas words as well so fantastic to go on christmas cards home decor products all sorts of bits and pieces so really really awesome items plus there's also you know the dusty attic chipboard the scrap effects chipboard there is celebrate chipboard there's all sorts of chipboards so we'll be using that today and oh, we won't be using that today we'll be going through that today oh by the way those big sheets are normally $9.70. They're down to $8.24. All right, so I'm going to be using this one today. This is probably my favorite one out of all of it because you get nine different bits and pieces. So I'm going to show you how to make some Christmas decorations out of these. Um, and as you can see, I've already made a start and printed and pushed these ones out. And what I have done with these ones here, I'm going to put the light back on, guys. Oop, there we go. What I have done with these ones here is I have done some embossing on them already. So I'm going to very quickly show you how to do some heat embossing. Can you see that? Have I got that lined up on the camera right? So this one here, this one here is using the Lindy's Stamp Gang embossing powders. And this is using Silence is Golden mixed with silver, silver, slam dunk silver. And then I have also done this beautiful little one. And this one is using the embossing powder from Lindy's called Gimme Five Gold. And then finally, this one is copper. And this is Cool Man, cool man Copper Embossing Powder. Can you see how pretty that is? Like, that just is so nice. Okay, let me show you how to do some heat embossing really, really quickly. Heat embossing is so much fun. I have taken this dusty attic chipboard called Creepy Crawlies, and that's what they are. They are Creepy Crawlies. You will not see me using the spiders. <sighs> For obvious reasons, I'm going to use the beetle. And I will use... I shall use both the beetles. So when you are heat embossing, you need a couple of things. You need to have some embossing powder. You need to have a um, an ink pad for the for the embossing powder to stick to. You need a heat gun, uh, and you need some paper. So I'm just going to use this paper here. And I'm going to ink my bug. So I'm going to just use that clear embossing ink. So this one is a little VersaCube. There's a few different ones available. As long as you have a medium for your <laughs> fiddly little thing. As long as you have a medium for your... Um, For your embossing powder to stick to and i'm going to use the copper because that's my favorite and i'll just tip it over like that find my tweezers shake off any excess and i've got all of this powder sitting on the top so i'm going to leave this sitting here because i'm going to double emboss it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold my bug with my tweezers and I've got my heat tool and I'm going to come up close and I'm going to... <laughs> there we go. I'm going to come up close and I'm going to melt those crystals. Oh, sorry guys, it's not in focus. So what I do, the reason I like to double emboss is I like to get a really nice thick coat. 
So what I do for that is while it's hot, once I've melted the first lot, I dip it back in. Keep my heat gun going so that it is nice and nice and hot. I'm gonna do three dips. And I'm melting all of those crystals. And you don't touch it. See how they've all melted now? Whoops, sorry, it's out of focus. There we go. And <laughs> it's hot. Come here. All right. So that's that one. And then if I'm going to do one and mix it with, say, a chunky embossing powder, let's have a go at that. So the chunky, chunky embossing powders are exactly that. I'll show you. I'll bring it up to camera. Can you see that that's chunky? It's not normal. Right. It's not your normal sort, I should say. It is normal. So I'm going to ink it up. And then I'm going to tip that over the top. I'm just going to press it in a little. This guy's down an antler. Hang on, how am I going to hold that? And then this time... See, I am all thumbs today. A pair of tweezers is essential. Right. I'm going to dissolve this. Melt all of this. So I'm going to melt him up and show you what it looks like. drop straight back into there so that's just oh for goodness sakes he's fiddly so that's just one color right what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pop that away and I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of gold over it this time so I'm going to pop the lids back on these now, this I'm not going to be able to do up close. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to show you this little cool technique. So I've got my gold handy. I'm going to heat him up and I'm going to heat it back up to temperature so he's kind of um, all a bit melty and hot and whatnot. And then I'm going to sprinkle while it's hot just a little on his legs. Then I'm going to pick it up, blow off any excess, and now I'm going to heat set that. So you can just add just a little bit of another colour just to mix things up a bit. And now he's got a bit more, a bit more of a, a golden sheen to him. Those other colours are still coming through and he looks pretty awesome. Now, see if I can lift this up without burning my hand. <laughs> Come here. Right. There he is. You can see how he's all shimmery and shiny. All right. So, what I did with my... What I did with my baubles, this one here... I did with a full coat of embossing ink. Then I did a very good sprinkle of Cool Man Copper embossing powder. And then when it was still hot, 
I dipped it back in and reheated it so that it got this really lovely, thick, glossy coat on it. Did the same with the gold. So that's like a double dip gold. And that is just gorgeous. Get my bugs and pop my little bugs away. Bug. 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 All right. And then so with this one, this one now has got that chunky and a silver embossing powder on it to get that really awesome look. So you could leave those and hang those on your tree just like that. Just tie a little bit of ribbon around the top and voila, you are done. You could pop a piece of book paper behind it. Actually, the book paper would look good behind with that one. So let's do that very quickly. Where is my little pad? So how do I cut that to fit behind that to get it right? Well, that's pretty easy. I'm going to use this as my template because it came out of that. So I should be able to get it to line up to go back into that. So just a piece of book paper. I'm using my Ulfa cutting knife. which has got a new blade in it. So you watch me lose a finger live on Facebook. <laughs> oh. Glue. In fact, I'm not going to use glue. I'm gonna use Dimensional Magic as my glue because it dries shimmery and shiny. And I'm just gonna pop a little here and then a few dots around here. And so if you can, if it comes through and I end up being able to see it, it won't matter too much because this works as a great adhesive as well. Spreading it around with my fingers. And I can trim off any excess when it dries. Voila, instant Christmas decoration. Oh, look at me go. Right. And I've got dimensional magic on my hands. So the other thing I want to show you is the glitter paper that we got in. Now, I hate glitter. You would not believe how much I dislike glitter. It's with a passion. With a passion. I think we all do in our So if I tipped over a, a pot of glitter at home, it's just easier to burn the house down. Um, now let me get rid of some of that embossing powder because it kind of goes everywhere. Oh, look, this is the Nouveau Big Fancy Brush. All right, so what I'm going to do is talk about the glitter paper. So the glitter paper came in and these are packs of 10. Now, again, you're gonna get a bit of, a um, little bit of glare. So let me tell you, these are normally $9.60 for a 10 pack, down to a little bit over $8 now. So we have got silver glitter and it is in the paper. It is not gonna come off on your hands. So we've got silver, copper, Gold, white, which is just beautiful, this stunning green, this red is just amazing as well, very, very pretty. We have got mint and we have got black glitter paper. So what I'm going to do is I might colour another couple of these little chipboards, actually. Why don't I do that? Let's colour them with something else. I'm going to do this one. So I'm just using my knife just to cut it out because all chipboard has got these little um, elements in here to help keep it in the packaging. There's one there. 
So again, you could paint these with anything. This would be, a, a again, a great thing to do with kids. You can paint them with, I mean, hey, you could colour them with pencils and textures. Um, oh, Karen Yates just bought those. And the pumpkin. How cute is that pumpkin? Um, so yes, you could quite easily... Color them in anything that you uh, that you like. You are limited to your own imagination. So let's think about some of the things that you could use: pencils, textures, Copic markers, alcohol inks. You could drip with those. I'm going to use Magicals right now, because uh, you know how much I love Magicals. Um, and yeah, you're right. So Karen's just suggested these would make great teachers' gifts. You are damn right. I'm going to crack out my nail file again. And those little bits that have just um, from the come off from there, I'm just going to file it back with my nail file. Take off those excess bits, any furry bits. So I've got some Magical Shakers here. So Magicals, of course, are your pigment dye-based powder. And I'm just going to put some powder into here. I've got, that was Grab A Guy Gold. This one is, oops, that's way too much. That one's Magnolia Magenta Gold. And then I have got Time Travel Teal. And now I'm going to look for my pipette and some water and activate that powder to make that magic happen. Now I'll be playing with Lindy's products again tomorrow. Uh, possibly again this afternoon and I'll go into the Lindy's products in more detail then but for today let's just get some color on all right paintbrush give it a stir so like I kind of mentioned earlier chipboard is porous so what's going to happen is the liquid is going to soak right in and the shimmer is going to sit on top. So I'm just going to lightly colour these. And I'm going to do ho. Oh, So this one is a magenta with a gold shimmer. And the gold shimmer is sitting beautifully on top of the chipboard. The mica powder. Absolutely stunning. So you could paint these with Lindy's. Oh, this is so pretty. And then I'm going to do the outside. Actually, I'm going to do the outside in this colour. And I'm going to mix it with this colour. So it is going to dry a little bit differently to how it would normally on paper because it is chipboard and it's got that porous element to it. So the liquid's gonna soak right into the chipboard, leaving the color sitting on top. Oh, I love that. And I'm gonna pop that aside to dry because it's gonna dry up looking really, really cute. I'm gonna bring it up to camera to show you on my dirty hand. Got that nice little blend there. I'm gonna pop that there to dry. So let's just do another one quickly. Let's do a tree. And I've only got a couple of colors here. The tree is gonna work just fine in blue because I said so. <laughs> and I can be pretty accurate because I'm using a paintbrush. Now I'm going to do my stars in gold. Oh, I had a bit of bit of bleed in that one. And then the outside is going to be magenta. Uh, so yeah, you can do heaps with these. These are really, really versatile. Um, crackle paint looks amazing on chipboard. Um, texture paste looks amazing on chipboard. Um, you can stencil on chipboard. You can, and these are like, it being wood veneers, they're going to work just fine. Look at that. What did that take me? Under like a minute to do? 
Seriously. Oh, so I'm just trying to read the comments at the same time. You guys are super chatty today. Um, okay, what else can I do? Let's use acrylic paint. And I'm just grabbing the first colour without looking and apparent. We're doing, we're doing fluorescent. We're doing strawberry daiquiri. So we're going to go fluoro now. Just going to push the water out of my paintbrush. And I'm going to do a fluorescent. Oh, baby. A fluoro. So these being 15% off, hmm, work out to be a pretty damn good price. So great little lockdown project for the kidlets. Great little lockdown project or a great little Christmas project for, like Karen said, excellent idea for teacher's gifts. What a bloody great idea. Um, hey, you could turn them into fancy earrings if you are that way inclined. But the best thing is, is you can match them to suit your Christmas tree. You can match them to suit your home decor. Just, you can match them to suit your reindeer. So did everybody see my reindeer earlier today? So the big reindeer, the super big one, the paper that I used on that, that gorgeous rainbow um, tissue paper from Scrap Effects, that was designed by the lovely Karen Yates, who is currently watching this video. So um, congratulations, Karen, on having such a beautiful, beautiful paper designed or produced by Australian company Scrap Effects. You should be super proud of yourself and I can't wait to see what other designs you've got coming out because that was amazing. No pressure. Um, right, I'm just going to get my finger and polish that over to give it a nice coat. So now I've got a beautiful fluorescent Christmas decoration. Gee, talk about mixing it up here. What else can I paint with? Um, let's push this one out. Oh, uh, yeah, you have done a new release with Michelle Grant. So we use Michelle Grant's designs with our August Art Journal class, and I absolutely loved doing that. Um, that was so much fun. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, sorry, just had another idea. I've got some other Lindy's here. Actually, I've got a lot of Lindy's here. And I want to do something a little bit earthier this time. So instead of going for super brights, I want to go with, I want to go with like a gold Lindy's. Yeah, that's a good idea. Don't judge me on my magicals. Because I work for Lindy's, so I have a lot. And this is only maybe a quarter of them. I'm just trying to find the copper and I need to sort them out apparently. There we go. Okay. So this time I have got a, a little gold Lindy's here and I'm going to use my Nuvo spoon in there just to pop a little in. And then I have got Cowabunga Copper in a shaker. And I'm going to have another idea in a moment. A little bit of water. Activate that powder because, of course, you have to activate it to get that magic to happen. And I'm going to paint my oh, tree. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Now, I don't know if this is going to work. How bad can it go, right? I'm going to sprinkle. I'm going to sprinkle this over my deer.
and then I'm gonna activate it with a little bit of water spray. This might not work, but it has. So what I might do, yes, that is Bayou Boogie Gold. And that, oh, that's so good. Now, when these dry up, they're going to look just a fraction different. So can you see that? Look at that. Look at that gold sitting on the top there. So good. All right, I'm going to put that aside. And I'm going to dry these ones off so that I can back them with the glitter paper. I know, isn't that an awesome idea? Are you stealing lollies from our customers, Jessica? They... Just a Mentos mini. Just a mini Mentos. Jessica's found the stash of needs lollies sugar. that we put in with our customer orders. I need sugar, guys. She needs sugar, apparently. You're working me hard today. Yep, so Jessica's picking orders because Louise is having the day off because it's netball finals. And that is uh, Louise's other job that she does when she apparently has plenty of time off. Oh, Jess, in my, in my office, in the corner cupboard up against that wall, in, there's a box with some gold glitter paper in it. Could you grab that for me, please? All right, I'm going to bring these up to camera now that they are dry. But of course, because we are adding water, when we added these colours on, we, we need to make sure that they are dry because it's what's going to happen is that the colour sits on top, the water goes through. Let me bring it up to camera to show you. And that colour is looking pretty great. On that one. Colour is looking pretty great on that one. That yellow is lovely and, and vibrant. And this is the sprinkle and spritz on my deer. How good is that? Look at me having fabulous ideas on a Saturday. Right, let's pop some glitter paper behind these. Now, like I said, I normally don't love glitter paper, but that looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna cut a circle. So I'm gonna trace it. Not with that one, with this one. with my knife that one there and let's just have a little looky and see what other colors because I'm going to put the gold behind that one because that looks fabulous uh, now let's see if I can avoid opening all of the colors every amount of me just wants to go for the black because I love black but I'm not going to do that hit the floor all right, I'm going to use the white glitter paper. So, you know, the white glitter's great because it's got that, there's no glitter coming off of my hands. And let's be honest, that's the most important thing. So we got that one there, we're gonna go around. And I could trace it with a pencil, but I'm confident with a knife. If you're not confident with a knife, use your pencil and then cut it out with scissors um, but I haven't lost a finger yet we've got one. Oh yeah baby um, I might do another one
Louise just about had a heart attack when I told her that the glitter, I'd ordered glitter, something with glitter on it. She just about wet herself because she hates glitter quite a lot as well. I'm going to do book paper behind this one. Hating glitter apparently runs in the family, Jess has just said. <laughs> it makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, so yeah, um, yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I, I am going to go for the black in a minute, love, because Pamela's just commented saying that she would have gone with the black and um, I am going to open the black. Oh yeah, I like that. And where's the black? Yeah, glitter does suck, Karen. It is certainly not my favorite thing, but I have to say that glitter on there is so super fine and still looks absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, definitely. Can you see how good that's going to look on there? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to cut that out. I'm going to glue these other ones on. And even this one looks great on there. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so gluing them on. Again, I'm going to use that. Pop it onto there. Just enough adhesive, so you could use puzzle glue, you could use the Nuvo glue, you could use just normal paper glue will be enough. Um, and don't forget, if you're going to tie it to something, you probably want to do that before you, you know, pop your string through beforehand. Or if you're going to put them... Stick down. If you're going to put them... Um, on a card front, then you won't need to, of course. All right, so that looks kind of cool. Um, the gold, same thing again. Now, because the glitter paper is quite rough, I am going like it's got it's it's a bit harder to stick things down to glitter paper. So I'm being a lot more generous on the back of the chipboard. And then I will let that sit aside to dry and then trim off any excess because I've got a bit of overflow going on here, etc. Um, let's stick these on quickly. So today only, you will get 15% off of chipboard on nataliemay.com.au. Um, chipboard, uh, scrap effects products and... Christmas products are 15% off for today. Christmas products are actually on special all weekend. Uh, for the rest of the weekend, they were not on special on Thursday. Um, but yeah, we've, we've got lots of really cool things happening. I'm going to be doing one more quick live Facebook today. Um, there'll be 3.30 Adelaide time. I will be popping back to do an art journal page. Okay, so... Uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do yet. Probably something in my Scrap Effects junk journal because you know how much I love my junk journal. Um, and I want to show you how easy they are to use. Um, and... Oh, love that. So, yeah, that's, that's going to be an option. And I'm thinking, no. Yeah. Just so I don't have to open another packet of um, glitter paper. Um, yeah, so the uh, I'll be back today at 3.30 to do that. And then tomorrow we have a brand new special, which means more daily demos. More very cool things going on here live on Facebook. Plus the possibility that I will have a hangover. 
<laughs> no, I will aim to not have a hangover. But yeah, stranger things have happened. Where's that gold piece that I had before? I don't know where you put it. Oh. And I'm quickly going to cut this one out. <sighs> yeah, so a bit of a lazy Sunday. So tomorrow morning's 9am live Facebook may or may not happen. It may just be a quick walk around the shop. Um, I'll see how we go. See how you can loop it. See how the day pans out. Jess, uh, Louise has got a little bit of time off tomorrow. She's going for her second COVID jab. I've got mine on Tuesday, my second one on Tuesday. Um, so, not for two weeks. yeah, yours is coming up. So, yes, we uh, will be in and out. Louise will be here for a little bit tomorrow to pack your orders. Oh, that one's pretty. Okay, let's have a look now. Let's have another look and see what we've got here. So, let's start with. So, I did that one first. Um, so all I'm going to do is just tidy up, of course, with scissors. But as you can see, these are super easy to do. Like chipboards, just the, the most versatile thing for, like these Christmas de decorations are just divine. Um, so there is my, the Magicals with the sprinkle and spritz over the deer. And I might even add, I will, I'm going to do it. So has everyone used Dimensional Magic before? Dimensional Magic is, um, it's been around for like a hundred years. And you can tell like the label looks like it has as well. This has been around forever. Um, glossy Accents is very, very similar. Uh, and then my other favorite alternative is the Spellbinders Glaze and Glue. That's the other one that I use a lot. And, come on. There we go. But they both do the same thing. Um, but what I love about them is not only are they an awesome glue, they you can make things shiny. So I can run my glossy finish over the top here. And it's one of those tools that I find is, is a necessity. It's an absolute necessity for me. Almost every scrapbook page has got this on it. Um, I'll do the same thing with this. This one is the Spellbinders one. When I'm working on an area like that, I would just... So this is going to dry. Glossy. And when it's totally dry, I'll see if I can remember to put a photo up in the comments so that you can see how good it looks. Oh, I forgot his legs. But I reckon I have been using this for this particular like product to do this sort of stuff for about 20 years. Used to be able to buy the um, Dimensional Magic at Bunnings for about $4. Those were the days. Coming out. Never shake the bottle because shaking it creates bubbles and doesn't look great when it dries. I don't know, can you see how that's shiny sitting on there? All right, I'm gonna pop that aside to dry so I don't accidentally put my finger in it. Um, all right, here's my ho ho ho. That looks pretty great as well. And um, they will look amazing with glossy accents over them as well. So even if I just do these bits, like my little stars, they will dry lovely and shiny. 
Hey, I could fill those bits with the Dimensional Magic and sprinkle sequins in there or beads. That would look great. My fluorescent one. Oh, if only I could show you how fluoro. There you go. How fluoro is that? I'd love to do a neon Christmas tree, but you just can't get neon embellishments. There's on the um, on the white glitter, and I'm just going to cut around that one with scissors. So there you are. I'm not going to hold you up any longer. I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee, uh, tidy up, and get ready for my next live Facebook at 3:30 Adelaide time. So jump online to nataliemay.com.au. Um, you will find a huge range of show specials as well today. They are the show specials, um, massive markdowns on stamps, like one stuff that there's one off left. Uh, there's plenty of things in there, stencils where there's one off left at some great prices. Like we're talking 30, 40% off. Um, Louise just went through and picked out our one offs. Um, we've got the paint tool bundles as well. They are the perfect opportunity to stock up on your paint tools. So have a look under the show bundles section on the website. These are going to be specials that will not be available again. Okay, so they will be gone as of tomorrow or at the end of tomorrow. We will take them offline and you will not get them at those prices again. There are still, I think, a couple of paint marker bundles available. And I think there might be an adhesive bundle. Nope. Adhesives out. Adhesives are gone, Jessica's Spark just said. Sparkles and paper rose. Oh, the sparkles bundle. The sparkles bundle is the art by Marlene um, Gemstones. Jessica, you can just hold those up. Um, the art by Marlene Gems, rhinestones, um, plus the clear baubles as well um, in two different sizes. So, and we also have a paper rose. Um, and card pack. The, oh, the paper rose stencil, paper and card pack if you are a card maker. They are at fantastic prices too. So make sure that you jump on and have a look at some of those bundles. So you'll get, there's a range. Oh, I just put my thumb in that. Um, there's a range of different bundles available and they are just for this Christmas show. Okay. So make the most of that. Oh, there's my little bugs. Um, with my little bugs. All right, guys, you are all fantastic. Thank you so very much for watching and joining me. And I will see you back here in an hour's time. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, do the things, chat to you all soon.